Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Uh, my name is Pushpinder Kaur and uh, today we are going to work on PSL book uh, 1B and this is the book for those students who have already um, learned the Pentiakri and now they are learning to read. So uh, level 1B students go ahead and get your book, um, pause the video, make sure you bring a pencil and we'll get right back to work. So today we are going to do lesson number 14. And all the lessons, they are made on the same pattern. So if I teach you how to do one lesson, you should be able to do all the lessons by yourself or with the help of a, a, an adult in the family. So this is lesson 14, Choda, and we are on page 69. Okay. So the way this works is that we are going to use a few letters in this lesson and those letters are written here. Now, first and foremost, we are going to um, read the letters, say the sound of each letter, and then you will pause the video and you will circle all those letters in this on this page, okay? So let's go ahead and say the letters. This is sa -sa, sound s, ha ha, ka ka, Kaka k, gaga g, cha cha ch, na na na, ta ta ta, da da da, na na na, pa pa, pa, ba ba ba, ma ma ma, ra ra ra, la la la, da da da, and ha ha ha. So pause the video and go ahead and circle these letters in here. So those are the letters we'll be working on in this lesson. Now we turn the page and we are only going to work on nine or 10 words, okay? So that means you should be able to master these words, know these words, how to read them, how to say them, and what they mean, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the word. The word is fasal. Again, same letters are written here, okay? Fasal. So the, the sounds are f. So, fossil, fossil. Fossil is a crop. When there's lots of plants of the same kind, that is called a crop. Um, takhat, takhat, takhat. Takhat is a throne. Usually the king's emperor sit on the takhat. Ha, hardab, hardab. Hardab is a jawbone. So this is a hardab. Okay, it's a uh, word that's used in villages. We mostly don't use it, um, but you you can just read it. This word is namak, namak, namak. Namak is salt, loon, loon we can be in Punjabi. Purse, purse, purse. Purse is a wallet, purse is a handbag, so purse can be many different kinds. Kadam, kadam. Kadam is a footstep. So when you walk, you are um, counting the kadam. You're taking a kadam. You're taking a, a, a step. Kadag. Kadag. Kadag is a sword. It's a different kind of sword. Uh, not the curved kind of sword. It's a straight kind of sword. Like a kanda, it's sharp on both sides, but it's much longer than the kanda. Karnak. Karnak. Karnak is a special kind of seed is wheat and the kanak is, um, is the seed is the one we use to make flour and then we make prashad out of it, we make roti, we make pronti, we make puri out of it. So this is a special, very important seed in our culture, kanak. Chanak, chanak. Chanak is a sound, uh, like the clinking sound. Um, let me show you this one. You hear the sound? So that's called chanak, okay? And many things can make their sound. Jingle bells can make their sound. Chanjira can make their sound. Um, uh, rattles can make their sound. Chanak. Okay. Now, um, you'll pause the video and you'll write all the words. But let's read the words one more time quickly. Fasal. Takat. Hadab. Namak. Pars. Kadam. Khadag. Kanak. Chanak. You see? Kanak and Chanak rhyme. They end the same way, only the first letter is different, right? Yeah, that's a skill you know already, okay? So now pause the video and you go ahead and write the words here. Okay, on the next
next page, activity number 14.2. We will read the words and we'll sound the letters, okay? Fasal. Fasal is crop, many plants of the same kind crop. Takhat. Takhat is a throne. This is a takhat from Maharaja Ranjit Singh, so it's historical for six. Hadab. Hadab is the jawbone. Namak. What's the other name for namak? Loon. Very good. Salt. Purse. And this is a one kind of purse. Kadam. So here's this boy is walking and ode kadam ne. These are his kadam. These are his steps. And this is the khadg. Like I was telling you, it's like khanda, but it's much longer than khanda. Karnak is one plant. And, and then there are seed pods here. So there are seeds in this. And that's the wheat. That's the uh, grain we use most often in our homes. And chanak here is a um, anklet. And that can make the sound chanak. Okay, good. All right. So we are going to go ahead and turn the page. And we are going to work with the same words over and over and over so that you will master them. Now in this activity, you will read the words one more time and then you're going to copy them in your best handwriting. Now, if you don't know how to write the letters yet, you can trace over these letters first, um, read the word and then copy it right next to the line on this line. Okay? <clears throat> so you can pause the video and you can finish this activity or you can continue with me and then you can uh, do this activity later on. Okay. Now, on this page, you're going to, here are the directions, write the missing letters to complete the words on the red dotted line. So, these are the same words you've been learning, same nine words. Do not cheat. So, what is this word? This is fussel. F -s -l. So, what letter is missing? Sissa. That makes a sound. S Good job. So that's how you're going to complete all of these um, words here. Make sure you write the missing letter and read the word sound of the letter. Okay. We will turn the page. Now here, the words are written in English, but now you need to write them in Punjabi. Let's see if you remember them. You read them so many times. I think you can do it. This word is fussel. What sound do we hear? F -s -l. Right? Good job. That's how you're going to say the name, name of each picture. And you are going to write the words for each picture. Okay. Next page is supposed to be your homework. So this is what you're going to do. Let's read the directions. Read the words. Sort them in categories. These are the same words, but then there's some extra words in here now. They have some rhyming words in here. Should we go ahead and read them? Okay. Let's read them. This is... Fasal, Fursh, Karnak, Kadam, Hadab, Dard. Dard is to crush something, uh, to grind it coarsely. Dard. Rugged. Rugged is when you rub something, when you um, have maybe dirty dishes. Mummy has dirty dishes. She takes a sponge and she rugged them uh, hard so all the muck will come off. Kadag, we know kadag is a special kind of sword. Namak is salt. Takhat, galat. Galat is when something is wrong. Is ik plus ik thin, teek ke galat. Galat, right? Ik plus ik is not thin. Ik plus ik is do. Very good. Purse, we know chanak is chang chan. And lamak is when you are hanging by something. You may be hanging by a tree. You may be hanging by a branch. You may be hanging by your staircase. Don't do that. Uh, that's called lamak. Lamakona, right? Okay. Now, what else are you going to do? Read these Punjabi words. Separate them into different groups. Look at how they start and how they end. Now, look at all these words. The words that end with a dada. Rada, they go here. So you will look at them. Which words have rada at the end? They will go there. Then look at the words that have a kaka in them. It could be in the beginning. It could be in the end. Uh, so all the words that have kaka in them go here. All the words that have a rara in them. So it could be in the beginning, middle or end, anywhere. Uh, all the words that have a rara in them. Could be in the middle, could be at the end. Um, then they end with a tata. So if they have tata at the end, right? 
all other words that they haven't fit in any of the categories you write them over there and that is your homework okay so what we will do next is another homework assignment and now you have to match the picture with the words here again you have to know what these pictures mean right so make sure you learn these picture names and make sure you can read these words and connect them with the pictures okay you will do that on your own later on. Ah, here is a fun activity. These are the same words that we have learned. Now, the na names are written in English only. First, you write them in Punjabi. You can look in the back. Then you find those words here. And you will then uh, have done the word search and found all the words. And can you find different words in there? You may be able to find different words in there. Okay? So that will be an activity you will do for homework. Then... With your parents, you are going to do this quiz. So what is this word? Is it takat or takhat or takhat? Okay, so figure out what's the right word. Now you should be able to see, say them. And if you don't remember, what can you do? You can go back to the first page and you can look at the words over there. But you need to memorize them, okay? Then one of the days when you're ready, your mommy and daddy will give you a spelling test of all those nine words. Now, if you miss any word, you have to write each word three times here. Okay? Any word you miss. Okay? I would say write it ten times, but make sure you write three times and try to remember all those words. Okay, so we are done with this lesson and I will see you for the next lesson another day. But this is how we are going to do every single lesson in this book and that's PSL book 1B. Thank you so much for working with me. You are awesome and you're learning Punjabi. Make sure you spend 7 to 10 days, 10 minutes every day to read and write and speak Punjabi. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh.